Hello everyone and welcome uh, to another uh, math uh, seminar or webinar for, uh, for parents <clears throat> of the, uh, the grade 5 class here. Uh, last uh, week we talked about partial products and multiplication. Today we're going to be talking about three digit uh, division. Uh, three digit by one digit. And for example, uh, I'll write the following math sentence. Um, let's go something really, really simple. 123 divided by 3. Okay? And for a lot of us, of uh, say my vintage, um, having this number sentence written horizontally poses some problems. We go, oh, wait a second, I don't know how to do that. That's not the algorithm I was taught when I was young uh, in the 80s or 70s. Um, and we're used to seeing something like this. Which is fine, but as we talked about with partial products, uh, when we do the standard algorithm, or the traditional one here, we're not really attacking what's happening. We're not, a, uh, we're not actually dividing uh, the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. And that's a problem when you're, when you're 10 or 11 years old. You really want to know what's happening. And if you're in your 30s, you really want to know what's happening. So let's take a look at a few strategies that we use in the class that you can um, relate to your student when you're at home talking about this kind of stuff. So we have 123 divided by 3. One strategy that we use in the class is we use base 10 blocks. Here's one. This is a base 10 block. This refers to, uh, this is 100. You can see that there's tiny units. Hopefully this picks up on the camera. There's tiny little units all in here. There's rows of 10 and there's 10 rows of 10. So this is 100. Here's 110. And then here is uh, one unit, which is basically one. Okay, so if I want to represent 123 in base 10, here's my 100. Here are my two tens or my 20. And here are three ones. So I have 123 in my hand. So this is great because the kids can go, yes, I have 123. And it's concrete. They can smell it. They can touch it. They can, they can understand that. Now, how do I split this up? How do I put it into three equal groups? Will there be a remainder? Hmm, interesting. That'll be next lesson. But so let's say this is my base 10 block, this is my 100, and then I have my two tens represented by 20. This is awesome because it teaches kids place value. And then I have these three guys. Well, if I want to split it up into three groups evenly, I know that each group is going to get one of the ones. So let's go, let's put it here. Each group is going to get a one. Okay, and then I look at this and I say, well, I can't split these two up, these two, uh, these two tens, but I'm going to split this base ten up into what? Well, ten tens. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm not an artist. Okay, so now I have how many tens? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I know because I know my math facts, my basic math facts, multiplication facts, that twelve divided by three is going to be four. So that means that each group is not only going to get one one, but they're going to get four tens. And then that's my answer. I can go, well, I have four tens, that's 40, and then I have one. So 41 is going to be my answer. And this is a great strategy, and kids love this, and they can understand it, and uh, they get to play with it, like I said. Now, what's another strategy we can use? Well, just like partial products, we can kind of split things up. So let's see, and with base 10, it's this, the same idea as base 10. So I have 100. Correct? Yeah. How many tens do I have? Well, I have two tens, so that's 20. And then I have three left over. So I'm going to divide this by three. Divide this by three. And divide this by three. Well, I go, wait a second. 20 is not divisible by uh, three. Um, evenly, that is. And 100, that's not divisible by three. So what can I do? Mm. So the kids figure this out, and they go, well, I know that 120 is divisible by 3, because it's just really 12 times 10. 
And so they can bring their zero over here, and then it's just a simple math fact, 12 divided by 3. And then they know that 3 divided by 3 is 1. They add that up, and they get 41. Now, do we teach the standard algorithm? We can, we can give it as a strategy. So when you and I look at the standard algorithm, we go, OK, 3 goes into 12. Are we really attacking the place value? No. But that goes four times, right? Gives us 0, 41. Does this teach us what's happening in the division? Not really. We're just sort of doing a trick to attack sort of the digits here and not the number, not the value, OK? Uh, Mr. Trembath in the class next uh, over, they use sort of a, a chart, a laminated chart, where they can sort of do the same thing. Here's your hundreds, here's your tens, here's your one. And we teach that as well. But it's all about providing the students with strategies so that they can understand what's really happening. Okay, if you have any questions, please email me uh, or ask your student.